Hey guys, it's Tea Time here with a uh, brand new speed build. It is my Perfect Patio Starter Home. So this is just base game and the Perfect Patio Stuff Pack, which I was kind of excited about. This is one of my favorite stuff packs and as you will see, it comes with a lot. And it's not just a lot, it's a lot of nice items, good decorative items, a few great couches and things like that. Um, and so I do end up making a beach house, which I kind of really wanted to do. I looked up a picture of a really simple small beach house and I modified it a bit um, just to come up with this tiny little one room place. Perfect for a couple or I'm thinking just a single sim. I did make it a bit feminine um, but you can change the colour scheme up if you wanted to put a, a male sim in here. It would suit him just fine with a few tweaks or I don't know maybe your male sim is into peach because I did use peach. I, was, I wanted to use blue because it's very beachy but I just saw a couple of swatches of that peach color and I don't know, I'm a bit obsessed with it at the moment. I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't help it. Um, anyway, while we're having this uh, build, this is the day that I'm recording this, is the day that the Sim Gurus are tweeting absolute gibberish up on Twitter and ah, oh, my goodness, guys, what is it? What is it? Um, we'll know by the time this actually comes out, we will know, they'll have done their live stream but I'm going to um, uh, think ahead and, and I'll know pretty soon if I'm wrong um, about what it is. Uh, my guess is something like maybe a stuff pack. Could be supernatural. Like they've been saying, where is Bella? Where is Bella? And, and the woman in the red dress um, is, I don't know, is, what is it? <sighs> oh, they're all worshipping the woman in the red dress anyway. I think that's Bella. And I think that maybe it's supernatural, but it could also be a throwback to Strange Town. Some people are speculating. I think Strange Town was Sims 2. It was a little bit like Oasis Springs. It was a desert region, but it, that was Aliens. Now, I know we've seen um, Sim Guru. Oh, who is it? Lindsay? I think in um, a tinfoil hat, her Sim. Uh, yeah, a colander or <laughs> whatever it is. So. I don't, I don't know. It could be a technology-based thing, so maybe aliens, but it could also be supernatural. I kind of want it to be supernatural, but at the same time, uh, I've never really been into. I, I definitely, look, I love zombies. I was a, I was on the zombie train before it became a train, but I don't want it in The Sims. That's me personally, but I wouldn't mind some other fun things, witchcraft, more alien interactions, things like that. So I'm excited about this no matter what. Although I was so freaking creeped out by those tweets like the images if you haven't seen it go check it out the images that they're putting up are just terrifying oh like actually I'm scared I've seen so many movies and they don't phase me anymore but this I don't know why this creeped me out so much <laughs> anyway anyway we will find out and I will know by the time this video comes out and you can tell me in all the ways I was wrong <laughs> But I don't care. It's fun. It's fun guessing these things. I was I was going through all the images to see if um, there was a new neighborhood. Um, that's why Strange Town is a little bit of a uh, maybe not, because um, it looks like all of their images are in all the uh, just a, a, a variation of places. I saw Brindleton Bay. I saw Del Sol Valley. I saw basically everywhere. So maybe that's not a thing, or at least it's not a hint that they've given us. But yeah, very exciting, very interesting. Um, I should probably actually talk about the build. This build actually, it's expensive, it's on the expensive side because I use a lot of furniture, which amazed me a lot. Look, it's, a, it's still a starter home technically, it's under 20,000. Um, it is small and I think that's why I managed to actually decorate it as much as I do. Um, you can see the actual homes, so the walls are quite often what costs. Like you don't realise until you try and build a small um, like a tiny room cost you like $3,000 or something crazy. So the walls are what's expensive. So this tiny little box I've created is actually really not expensive. So, I mean, you can you probably put ex extensions on it, I guess. I kind of liked it as this very outside focused beachy sim. Um, it might be nice to give him a dog or something um, if you're playing with Brindleton Bay, but considering it's just perfect patio stuff back and base game, this house would work probably nicely in um, Oasis Springs or something like that. So um, somewhere that wants to be focused outside. You could throw in a pool if you liked, if that were the case. But as a starter home, a pool is a big no. 
Um, yes, it's very hard to put a pool in. I think I want to take up that, that challenge at some point. Maybe the backyard stuff. I could try and see if I can fit it in. But that again has a lot of good furniture. And so I'd, mm, I'll probably be spending my money there. Um, but yeah, I'm actually surprised how well I did with this. Oh, I should have left those wooden floors. I do change them to something that almost looks cheaper and beachier, like a cheap beach house, but it's well decorated and it's very nice um, in the end. I do close this off to make a backyard, saving some cash on the fencing because it's not cheap fencing. It is perfect patio fencing. I had to use it because it's one of my favorites. I didn't put a gate in. I should have, but I didn't put a gate in. It's just a close off little yard. If you do have laundry day stuff, you could put a little um, clothesline out the back and uh, one of those little wash tubs to do your laundry. That would be a nice little addition for a simple life, kind of simple lifestyle sim. Um, we get a separate little bathroom in, but the bed does end up being in this main area, which is literally, so this sim really does focus on the outdoors. It'd be nice to give them maybe a little garden or maybe they plant a couple of special trees. Plantain, plantain would suit this sim really well. Um, yeah, so I liked that. Oh, how has the weather been for everyone lately? Because I know it's been either really hot or really, really cold. But now those seasons are starting to shift a bit. What's lovely for me. Oh, I loved that blue. I should have left it. Dang it. Oh, well, you can change the colors if you want, guys. Um, what's lovely for me is that it is not 30-something degrees or higher. It is raining today. Oh, my goodness. You don't know how much I love rain, guys. I absolutely love rain. And I love autumn. And I love spring and I do not love summer I do not love summer and it has been so freaking hot here um, so this change is just wonderful and it means I don't have to find several different ways to cool down my daughter's bedroom at night <laughs> so much easier in the cold I don't know are you like this I find it so much easier in the cold just to rug up get all the blankets maybe put a heater on for a little bit but even then I'm not a huge heater fan I just love blankets socks beanies gloves just throw it all on and snuggle up but then again I live in Australia in Sydney so I don't know what it's like to be really 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 cold and to have snow to deal with so I mean I haven't got that experience maybe let me know what it's like um, I've been to the snow maybe three times and by been to the snow I mean I've actually been skiing once um, when I was really really little I know I made snowballs and then I got scared and cold so I went inside but I was only like three <laughs> and then I have been to New Zealand when it was a little cooler and climbed uh, one of the volcano uh, volcanic mountains there which was amazing um, I mean, in terms of my interaction with snow it is very limited oh my goodness I've had this persistent cough I just had to ch take a huge chunk of my recording because I'm just coughing and drinking water because I did have a, a cold I was sick um, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know I was sick um, and my daughter was sick too. Um, not too bad, but still intrusive and now this cough is making it so I can't talk for a long period of time, which is a little bit annoying when I have to record, but what can you do? And there are people out there sicker. I'm not going to complain too much. I am doing really well considering actually. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm just shifting the kitchen around a lot, trying to figure out where I actually want it. In the end, I do put it on the long wall back at the end of the house that's just the best way it fits i believe um yeah playing with colors it was very white especially when i was playing with it like i do do a little bit of color correction um in editing so sometimes i look at it in editing afterward and i'm like oh no that looked great why didn't i leave it but at the time in game if you're not using any mods and filters and things or recolor or whatever it probably looks better the way i've changed it too so <laughs> we'll have to trust trust myself building that that was actually a good idea <laughs> yeah um even i think i'm trying to make a a day bed a couch something like that um in the end i'm just sticking everything together in a little lounge space outside looking out toward the ocean it's very cute i absolutely love what i end up doing with this outdoors area and because i have saved money on walls there is a lot of um of foliage of plants there's like four trees on this lot it's insane i find this lot very strange by the way if you do have cats and dogs this lot in Brind brindleton bay down near the beach it the front of the lot is toward the road but the road isn't accessible like there's a wall there does anybody else find that really weird and also very annoying 
So if you go to um, grab this uh, build from the gallery, it will show you a picture of this house from the back. <laughs> because I think the front should be the beach, <laughs> personally, because there is no other accessibility except to the beach, um, from the beach in my mind. But I don't know. I don't know who made this uh, lot. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, neither do quite a few on the Windenburg Island, but eh, what can you do? It's, uh, it is how it is. And um, it still plays fine, however you put the house, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, you just have to make sure that Sims know which one is the front door. Oh wait, there is only one door. Yep, never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, so what was inspiring me to do the peach was actually the peach swatch on the cabinets um, in that perfect patio pack in the kitchen. But in the end, I think I leave them white because there's peach tones everywhere else. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of that blue touch outside. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, very simple. Just adding a little bit of decoration. I think I grab this uh, picture and I make it big. Yeah. You could put a TV there very easily if you wanted to, but I was running out of cash and I didn't see this person as the TV caring type, so it wasn't important to put that in straight away. They have a bookcase for entertainment or they can run down on the beach. That's why I said it would be nice to um, get a dog if you do have that pack as well. And um, yeah, take them for a run on the beach as a form of entertainment. Um, I think that could be really nice. A um, little kiddie pool at the back if you have seasons. Things like that to add just touches uh, to your game. Could be fun. Anyway, just working on the backyard. Now, a little bit of a paved area I thought was realistic for a beach house. Um, who knows why it was paved ever. That's usually the question I ask when I go to beach houses. Why was this uh, created how it was and nobody ever knows the answer. So, yep, if you don't know this trick, uh, drop down the foundation and it's much easier to place items um, close to the foundation. And um, that's what I'm doing with bushes. I just do go with basic ones. I realised though, I forgot, there is actually green wall uh, decorations um, in Perfect Patio. And I kind of forgot about it um, when I went to do this bit. Which is a bit annoying, considering I probably could have afforded them. I could have put them somewhere, but um, that was my mistake. Uh, I'm sorry about that. It's not perfect. It's not a perfect patio. <laughs> Just built with the perfect patio stuff back. Um, I love this little, I don't often use that, um, those flowers. The um, sort of orange red ones. What are they? They're probably based on something real, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, didn't forget the bins. Never forget the bins, people. But I think we are coming to the end of the video very, very, very soon. Um, I'm just going around and putting a few more things, uh, finishing touches, uh, terrain, things like that, just to make sure that this place looks lovely. Yeah, I'm getting better at using terrain colouring tools. Um, I just got to remember. Here we go, some entertainment, putting a stereo around, um, trying out the wall speakers. Don't know why, because they're stupid looking. But uh, in the end, yeah, just going with stereo. Anyway, here are some screenshots for you guys. Just tell me how you think I went. I think it's a cute little house. I kind of just want to leave it here for a save file, which I would love to work on at some point, but I'm not up to that yet. Anyway, if you do like what you're seeing, please do subscribe, like, all those wonderful things, and I will see you later. Bye!